Hello, this is Dr. Bindusha, Genetic Counselor, GeneTech. Today we have with us here Dr. Anuradha Odumudi, Founder Director, GeneTech. We are going to talk to her about carrier screening test. Hello, Doctor. Hello. Can you please explain to us what carrier screening test is? Around eight to nine million birth defects or uh, uh, children are born with genetic disorders every year worldwide. And now many of these children are born to healthy couple. So uh, they do not present any family history or uh, anything else to identify the risk. Many of them are born to healthy couple. So carrier screening is an excellent tool to identify risk of such genetic disorders in healthy couple. Now when I say how do these healthy couple give birth to offspring or children with genetic disorders? Uh, to understand that we need to understand a little bit about how genes work. Genes always come in pairs. Um, so they are like a set of uh, uh, genes in every human being. These genes have different functions in our body and if these genes are defective it can result in a genetic disorder. There are certain forms of genetic disorders which are called recessive forms of genetic disorders and in these genetic disorders you will need both sets of these genes to be defective to express the disorder. So in these conditions what happens the healthy couple or partners they would be carrying they also have a pair of genes and out of this pair one of them is defective the other one is normal and because there is one normal gene these individuals do not express any disease they are healthy individuals. Let us say the same gene has the defect in the partner also, the partner also will not express the disease because the, he or she has one defective gene and the other one is normal. But when these two defective genes from mother and father come and become two defective genes in the child that is when the genetic disorder appears. These are recessive genetic disorders that we see or quite often in healthy couple. Therefore, carrier screening looks at all these thousands of genes uh, which are recessive in nature and will identify risk for genetic disorders in future pregnancies for all couples. Ma'am, can you please give us some examples of the genetic conditions identified by the carrier screening test? There are several recessive genetic disorders, thousands of them and uh, depending on which gene is affected, a particular organ or its function will be affected and the baby will have a genetic defect. I will give you some examples, um, for example thalassemia is a very common genetic disorder in our country and it is uh, uh, a result of a genetic defect on a gene called beta globin gene which produces hemoglobin. Similarly, there are other genes, uh, there are neurodevelopmental disorders. For example, a very common neurodevelopmental disorder is spinal muscular atrophy which affects the baby from newborn to infant in development uh, of the baby, neural development and muscular. There are several muscular dystrophy uh, related cases where the muscle development is disrupted, skin related ophthalmic eye related even the most common uh, hearing loss that we see is a recessive disorder 75 percent of hearing loss cases if genetic are recessive in nature that is hearing loss children are born to healthy couple so there are many more genetic disorders of such natures um, especially here i would like to mention uh, inborn errors of metabolism inborn errors of metabolism are uh, defects in the biochemical processes of the body and th uh, these uh, uh, biochemical processes get disrupted when genes affecting these proteins are involved so there are several inborn errors of metabolism like galactosemia glycogen storage disease phenylketonuria uh, many of them uh, that the newborn is born with and usually the survival rate is very very low or they have a, a very uh, defective development throughout the life. Mental retardation, autism uh, and several such diseases are also recessive in nature a large percentage of them. Who and when can they get the genetic carrier screening test done and how does it help the patients? 
this is a very interesting question who should get tested obviously carrier screening means the partners mother and father couple should get tested but when should they get tested now before we go into when they should get tested there is uh, there are several uh, reasons for a couple to think about whether they will have a healthy child or not uh, one of the special group that needs attention is consanguinity group that is where the husband and wife are blood relatives it's quite common in india especially in south india to marry blood relatives first cousin marriages um uh, maternal uncle and niece marriage and etc so when people marry within the family and they are blood relatives the risk for recessive disorders increase and why is it so why does it increase because um it actually every one of us share a small percentage of genetic material we have similar genetic material uh, however first cousins share one eighth of their genetic material now when i'm saying they share one eighth of their genetic material it also means that they are sharing one eighth of their genetic defects therefore the chances of having a child with genetic disorder increases when the marriage is a close relative marriage and this group needs special attention and it is uh, imperative that these partners get tested get carrier screening done to identify what risk that they have because there are thousands of genetic disorders and they will obviously not have risk for all genetic disorders they have risk for specific genetic disorder which we need to identify ahead of pregnancy and of course there are uh, there can be uh, partners with some kind of family history if they have a family history then also it becomes important that they get tested and identify what is their risk or uh, to have a child with genetic disorder um, regarding the timing when they should get tested the partners can come and get testing done before pregnancy that is the most important period because once they get pregnant there is very little time for us to do something about it so before pregnancy pre pregnancy testing is most important sometimes people do get tested before marriage also which is pre marital uh, testing after marriage they can get uh, testing before pregnancy early pregnancy testing is also helpful if they just came to know that they are pregnant and they are anxious about their risk of uh, offspring with the genetic disorder they can get tested and uh, usually the obstetrician or gynecologist refer them uh, to genetic center to get carrier screening done and regarding how carrier screening helps uh, the couple um you uh, once they know that they have a risk for certain genetic disorder we can offer several options to them they can get prenatal diagnosis done in early pregnancy we can test during pregnancy and give them information whether the baby is affected or not or sometimes it is also possible to test the embryos if they are undergoing artificial reproductive technology that is ivf procedure during ivf procedure a sperm and the egg are fused and an embryo is prepared and we can test on the embryo and identify those embryos which do not have the genetic disorder and transfer only those embryos which are normal so either testing in early pregnancy or testing on embryos can prevent birth of another child in the family with genetic disorder or for couple who are anxious or who are at a risk of having a genetic disorder they can totally prevent birth of a child with genetic disorder how does genetic counseling help a patient genetic counseling plays a very very important role um couple are anxious about their risk for genetic disorder and usually the obstetrician or gynecologist will advise the couple to approach a reproductive genomics expert and undergo a genetic counseling session what happens in a genetic counseling session in a genetic counseling session we look at the family history and we what we call as pedigree analysis we take three generation history and we look at what are the risks of having a child with genetic disorder many a times counseling is provided after the carrier screening report is available to us so we know 
for which genetic disorders are at uh, an elevated risk for that specific couple and we counsel them accordingly all the options available how we can prevent birth of a child with that specific genetic disorder to that couple we offer prenatal uh, diagnostic procedures like amniocentesis or CVS to be able to identify genetic disorders early in pregnancy or offer other options as discussed earlier on testing on the embryo so that the couple will be able to take informed decisions and plan for a healthy family. Uh, can unrelated couple also get a carrier screening test done? Even if uh, partners are not blood relatives, they will share 1 to 2 percent of their genetic material. So, every one of us share a little portion of our genetic material. So, even unrelated couple will have, there is a chance of having shared defective genes and therefore, if a couple is anxious about whether they will have a child with genetic disorder, it is important that they go through carrier screening irrespective of whether they are related to each other blood relatives or not or whether there is a family history or not. Carrier screening is for anyone who is anxious and who would like to prevent birth of any genetic disorder in their family. Thank you Dr. Anuradha for elaborating on carrier screening test and its uses. Thank you so much.